Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do the 10 things I wish I knew before having baby number two. I kind of, don't mind Mila in the background. It's kind of like what I could tell new moms and what I wish I would have known. Um, kind of all mixed up together. Not new moms, moms with second babies on the way. <clears throat> um, I'm still a little sick. I'm trying for it not to get me, but it's creeping in and it's no fun. But the babies are healthy, so that's a good sign. All right, let's get started with number one. Enjoy the time with your first before your second one comes. Um, with Mila, she was almost two when I had Kane, and she's always been super good, I guess. Um, but I can see if you're having a hard time with the terrible two stage, it'd be hard to enjoy just her. And then all of a sudden you have two. Um, but with her, we tried, no, we didn't try anything different. <laughs> um, but I feel like I could have enjoyed how old she is a little bit more, um, and how independent she is. Because now... To have someone that's very dependent on you is is a little hard, <laughs> but luckily Mila's been great and still herself. Number two, baby products work differently for different babies. So what worked for Mila was um, like Desitin or any diaper creams like that. For Kane, no. He um, is very sensitive. Any change in the detergent because I use a different detergent than they do or then I wash their clothes in and I washed one of his blankets in my detergent and mommy yeah Anna yeah yeah um and he had like a little rosy rash on both sides yes Anna and then um like wipes he can't have any fragrance in his wipes which is fine um because people had bought us fragrant kind and non-fragrant kind and then I just bought the rest at Walmart and then use a fragrant kind say that weird <laughs> with Mila number three your body's going to be more different afterwards than your first um yes <laughs> and it's only different in a good way because I had me it's only different this time because I did a v-back so if you are looking to do a v-back I highly recommend it but you have to have someone as your cheerleader, doctor, um, that supports you. Otherwise, they're just going to put you in for another C-section. Um, but that is a two-year-old for you. Um, so my body is different, good and bad. Um, I mean, same and different from when I had Mila to Kane. I've healed a lot faster this time around. And my skin's a little stretchier this time. Number four. Babies are expensive. <laughs> um, actually, two is expensive. So far, we haven't had to buy too much, but I did have to buy formula because we do supplement because Kane is freaking a hungry, hungry hippo and um, is very hungry. So, they are expensive in that case. Me will be brushing my hair. Don't mind her. Okay. Mila. Oh, number five. This is real life, people. This is real life. Number five. Don't expect the first to be, or the second to be like the first, which is 100% true in Mila Gentle. 100% true in our case. Mila was very easygoing, hardly cried, not gassy. And as you can hear in the background, Mr. Kane is very gassy and lots of crying and um, very loud, but that's okay. We still love him. It's just a little different. Um, number six, the time. You have no time. Literally, I just, he's a baby, so he doesn't even um, do any, you know, do anything running around crazy or anything. But the days are flying by. Flying by. Don't worry about him. He's just a little grunty back there. He's okay. Um, time is gone. Time is like moving the days. Just hours in the day. Just to film a video. It's hard. Number seven. 
after Mila just brushed my hair. Um, things get become more complicated. Speaking of complicated, there's a two-year-old for you right behind the camera hitting it. Um, getting out the door is complicated. Breakfast is complicated. Lunch is complicated. Nap time, bedtime. Um, it's just a lot different having two, obviously. My husband does a lot um, to help, but as us moms know, we just do it a little bit better. Number nine, becoming overwhelmed. So I filmed this clip at least 17 times because somebody needs some attention and is has her bathing suit on, tutu, and all her outfits on. Um, but over being overwhelmed. Example A. Two is a lot. <laughs> and it's only going to get worse before it gets better. But it's worth it, right? Some days. <laughs> all right, let's do our last one. Our last one. This has been quite the last journey of filming one. today. But we got to keep it one. real around here. Yes. yes one. Last one. Everything gets better. I'm learning that with his gas. Um, you just got to wait it out. Um, I've heard that with a few different things um, as well. And we are just going to wait it out. And everything's going to get better and easier. Just like with my healing, it got easier and better. But yes, it will get better, right, people? <laughs> I'm kidding. All right. Thank you so much for watching. That was my top 10 things I wish I would have known. Something I can tell um, new second time moms out there. Um, because it is a transition from one to two. I will tell you that. But that is it for today. I hope it's not too crazy because obviously now there's two of them. Life's a little more crazy here. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.